Hello everyone and welcome to part 9 of my Pokemon DS sprite editing tutorial. Where again I come back with something that we learned while working into the new Discord server I mentioned in the last episode. Actually with the same person, Cool Shallow. They've been editing Diamond, and up until this point I had assumed that Diamond and Pearl would be pretty much the same when compared to Platinum. And that's been mostly true, except for this one specific sprite that throws in the Pokeball in the beginning of a battle. We're in Platinum. Look at this sprite here. All the sprites, including when he first slides in, these two, and then when he actually throws the Pokeball, are on one sheet. But in Diamond, that's split into two, where these top two are completely separate. So I'm just going to show you where those are in case you're trying to edit Diamond or Pearl and are looking to try to get this to work. Okay, so close that. Go back to my old friend Tink. But this time we open up a Diamond ROM. Which, as I mentioned before, very similar to Platinum. And we're actually going to first go to the same location we talked about before, which is Poke Tool, Trainer Graphic, Trainer Back Graphic. And I'm going to unpack it, because if you try to view it in Tank, unfortunately it's just like the Pokemon sprites. If you try to view them in Platinum as well, they're just all pixelated, and this is that extra encryption you have to deal with. So to get around it, it's the same thing. You extract the NARC. It's going to ask me this, though, just because I unpacked it first. I do not want a compressed file, so no. Save. Boom. Cool. I have that, and now I'm going to go to PokeDS Pick DP, Diamond and Pearl. This is a slightly different version specifically made for, well, Diamond and Pearl. And I've now included it in the tool zip file that's in the description of these videos. So if you need it, you can go grab it right now. Okay, just like before, we open it, and open the NARC, like so, and he's right in the top, zero and one, which is, as you can see, the number of the file, and then the palette. Okay, so we can just save PNG, we'll call him Diamond. I don't know how to spell Diamond, I, oh no, I think this is right, Diamond back. Which is a cool name, as long as those letters are in the right order. Anyway, save. There it is. Cool. So I'll leave you just like that. And... And drag him in, like so. And see that he looks pretty much the same as you would expect. Hands are in the same spot, everything else. Only he gets to be together, I guess. Alright, but this is just the top two. The other two are inside an entirely new location. So I'm going to collapse Poke Tool. I'm going to go under Battle, then Graphic, then Battle Object .narc. And this one I can unpack inside of Tink. And I need Palette 47. And when I scroll down, you're not going to see the RGCN files that you normally expect. You instead see bins. And what I actually didn't know until Cool Shallow found out is that you can scroll on down, he's 195. You can unpack him. And even though it says bin, it's actually, if you look at the icon in RGCN. If I view it, there he is. I had no idea. So because of this, we actually technically now know where the little sprite is when you're entering your name in the beginning. And uh, we're working on that one, the map face, and also your trainer card, but unfortunately all of them have some pretty involved palette interdependencies, going back to the first episode, <laughs> where you change one thing and it's going to change a lot of other stuff. This just doesn't either look nice or just, just loses its mind. So if you want to be part of finding out how that all works, come on into the Discord. Anyway. But going back onto this, uh, we can shrink it as normal to what makes a little bit more sense. I think it's at 64. It's always 32 or 64, these things. All the way out. Mm -hmm. uh -huh. uh -huh. yeah. Okay. 
Okay, export. And I can save it. I will show up there. Good. Okay, and we'll put you over there. Alright, so looking at these. Okay. You know? Is this the same? You know, I haven't really looked at it this. Now there's definitely less sprites in here. I'm just surprised to see this. Now that I'm looking at it more closely. Because he's already right there like that. I don't know. This, this will still work. I'm just not sure if it's going to make the most sense, I guess. All right. Well, I already have a me made here. And I have technically this made as well. But that's okay. What I need to do is first... I'm, I will show you that at least that that guy uses the same... Got the wrong one. There we go. Uses the same pattern. As the other one. So you can copy and paste that as needed. And it'll look a okay. Alright, so from here, everything's pretty much the same as it was in episode two when you last saw this guy. You replace your guy, you make your guy all nice and and you uh, reinsert him with a replace palette back into the narc. The only other one that's different that I will showcase here is that when I made this guy, and I try to come in to this and put him in there. So, do do do. So, open PNG. Ta da! My narc doesn't yell at me. And I come down, okay, that's a new one, open PNG, and then try to write the narc, I get this message. And if you see this, that means that you don't have exactly 16 colors, because I think it mentioned somewhere, index was outside the balance of the array, so it expected 16 and didn't get 16, which is, doesn't seem to be something that the DS pick platinum is as picky about, so I don't know. But it's a pretty easy fix. You go ahead and let that one die. And uh, so you go to 0 to 14. I can just bing and then just add a color. It doesn't even need to be on there. Pretty sure you're still indexed. A OK. And save you. And I can reopen. File. Open NARC. And then my friend here. Oh, jeez. So now I should be able to just jump right to the palette, open PNG, and then, haha, you fools. Though I do wonder if. Yeah, no, okay, that's alright. Yeah, there we are. Everyone's happy there. So then that's when you go ahead, it's already written, it's ready to get in case. I can close that. Uh, here. Come all the way up. Collapse that real quick. Go back under Pokey Tool. And then I can collapse this. Change file. And put back in this guy. Cool. And that'll be in there. You do in case. That one, okay. I was about to say, you do need to pack it, but you don't. That's the other one. If you change the file, you don't have to repack it again. And that's all right. Then you can come back under battle. Come back down to my friend after picking palette 47, 195. Okay. And then I can just real quick. Da, 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 do, 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 do. Let's make sure here. Nah. Everyone looks to be correctly covered, even the part that's getting covered over. Yes, okay. So I can just take that. Do, 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 do. Love it. And then I can... Save palette. 
is say toss boy. Okay, come back over here. Make sure you're not indexed. Nope. Okay. So then I can load pallet, load toss boy, then index and get a fairly unexpected result, actually. Move this up here. I think this needs to be in the second slot. I don't know why, because it doesn't need to be over here. But I can go here, index, and we're, that's better. Okay. Weird. Yeah, sometimes sprite editing is just not consistent. But as long as you remember the little quirks, you should be okay. All right. Cool. File. Save as. Toss boy. Yeah, uh, just, just toss boy. So, okay, you're over there. Boom. Cool. Then I can replace palette. Import. Mr. Toss boy. There he is. Looking good. And just to make sure, I can take number 46. And try to look at him. And he's horrifying. But then come back to it. Go back down. View. Still good? All right. So, oh, okay. Okay, this is why I made you watch all of that. You know, you saw it before episode two. The main difference is you unpack this. That means you have to first pack that, then scroll up, and then pack that. Like so. And then you should be able to save your ROM and be okay from there. If you don't remember to pack both of them, your sprite will show up unchanged completely so at least you'll know when you see that he hasn't changed it you just didn't save it right and that should be good okay and like i mentioned before we're trying to figure out other things from here and if we can figure out how all these other pieces work you'll see more episodes in the future and if you want to be part of uh the discussion so we can make these videos join over to the discord and i can see you in there but if not i'll see you next episode have a good day good night everybody